Dr. Gary Clayman of the Clayman Thyroid Cancer Center of Tampa, Florida. In this video, we're going to talk about the neck dissection for thyroid cancer. Thanks, Dr. Clayman, for, uh, for this opportunity, and thank you for that great thyroid nodule app, which is killer. Um, I want to know more about the neck dissection. So I understand that if I've got a thyroid cancer that's spread outside of the thyroid that's spread in the lymph nodes or something, I need a neck dissection that sounds a little bit freaky. What's a neck dissection? What does that mean? So there's two types of neck dissections for thyroid cancer. One is, and they can be called different things, and so we'll just sort of talk about the areas. One is the central neck dissection, also called the paratracheal area. This is the lymph nodes that are along the trachea, the breathing tube, and the esophagus, the swallowing tube, and lay underneath the thyroid gland. So those are in the center area of your neck. And then there's the lateral neck dissection, or the side of your neck. And that's the neck dissection. Some people have called it, you know, scary things to patients like radical neck dissection and modified radical neck dissection. There's nothing radical about it, but these are the two different neck dissections for thyroid cancer. So how do I know if I need a central neck dissection or a lateral neck dissection? Are they mutually exclusive? Or how do I know which one I need? How, and do we know that ahead of time? How do I know? So the side neck dissection, the lateral neck dissection, has to be determined before you ever go to the operating room. How? Okay. By, by exam or by that high-resolution ultrasound you thing? You need that very expert high-resolution ultrasound. And that requires a really, really high-quality machine, a really expert ultrasonographer, the person that's holding that transducer, that thing that produces the sound waves that go through your neck, all of those pieces of the puzzle really need to be expert. Otherwise, you may miss it. So before I have surgery for my thyroid cancer, I need to see somebody who's doing an ultrasound who knows what the hell they're doing, and they need to be doing it all the time. So I get it's really good. And then you'll know whether I have lymph nodes in the side of my neck, and that's what's... Is that what I'm saying? Is that what I'm hearing? That's what's right. going to determine if I need a lateral or sideways neck dissection. The side of your neck neck dissection. And what about the central part? Well, let's, let's stay with the side first. Okay. okay. So the side is a bigger surgery than the thyroid surgery and the thyroid and the central neck surgery. It's a bigger surgery. It doesn't involve a big, huge slash along the side of the neck that sometimes you see. It's just in the low collar area here, so it's, it's not uncosmetic for you. And it saves everything that's really important in the neck. All it removes is the thyroid cancer and the lymph nodes at risk of having thyroid cancer within it. You don't want someone plucking out lymph nodes. They need to remove the lymph nodes that are all at risk of the side of the neck of having thyroid cancer in So it. the purpose of the central, I'm, I'm assuming that if you get a central neck dissection or this sideways lateral neck dissection, it's accompanying, I'm removing the entire thyroid. So the, the whole thyroid's coming out, and then in addition to, I'm gonna get lymph nodes removed either in the middle of the neck or in the middle of the neck and the side of the neck. That's correct. Yes. And does, that, does everybody who gets the dissection on the outs, on the side also get the center? So we need to know, and so that surgeon that you're seeing needs to really know how thyroid cancer behaves, where it spreads to. So those lymph nodes, if it is spread to the side of your neck and the lymph nodes that are along the the central area of your neck along the trachea and along the esophagus, if those have not been addressed by the surgery, then that area is at very high risk of still having cancer within it. I see. So everybody who's going to have cancer over here also needs to have the central neck done. But there are people who just need a central neck 
dissection and don't need the side neck? Is that true? Yeah, so I want to clarify both of those issues. The first thing is that even though it is spread to the side of the neck, doesn't mean that it is in the central compartment of the neck, but it likely it, it is. It means you, they got to be checked and got to be removed. That's correct. That's correct. Okay. But then your next question was, if taking away the side of the neck, if I have a thyroid cancer, do I need to have the lymph nodes removed from underneath the thyroid gland and along the trachea and the esophagus? The central neck. The central neck. And so in some thyroid cancers, yes, it should be done routinely, okay? So if it's a really big thyroid cancer and they're already in the area that those lymph nodes are, yes, those lymph nodes should be removed because if there's still cancer in those lymph nodes and they haven't been removed, then you're looking at another surgery and a very, very difficult surgery. So what you wanna make sure is you have one complete surgery. Yeah, we've talked about this in different videos that I really wanna make sure I have the best surgeon because I don't want to have to find a second surgeon to do a, a better job cleaning out the stuff that should have been cleaned out the first time. That's what I'm learning from these different videos. Is that correct? Knowledge is key. Knowledge, so, and knowledge and experience for my surgeons is key. That's correct. That's and correct. I, I have to ask those tough questions to my surgeons and, and, and make sure they look me in the eye. I, I need a surgeon who's doing this all the time. Otherwise, they could leave some of these lymph nodes behind and then I'm having another operation five years from now. And you can ask the question of the surgeon. Ask, how many times do you remove the lymph nodes of the side of the neck for a patient uh, that has had thyroid cancer? How frequently do you do that? What does that surgery look like? Is it the same surgery that you do all the time or is it a different surgery? Because the most common doctors that are doing this surgery are the ear, nose, and throat, the otolaryngologist, head and neck surgeon. But the neck dissection that they do, for example, for a cancer that is not thyroid cancer, is not the same neck dissection as it is for thyroid cancer. The thyroid cancer neck dissection is specifically for thyroid cancer. It's very different than these other surgeries. Okay, thank you, thank you so much. That helps clarify this.